Hi and welcome to my guest star collection. Today I thought I would show you my sticker collection. Uh, if you're new to my channel you might not know this but I'm kind of annoying and talk about my stickers and sticker collection in a lot of my videos. Uh, like when I'm out shopping and things uh, because I love stickers. So I mainly use my stickers in my scrapbooking or in my planner. Uh, but I thought this might be fun for you who like crafts or just cute stickers. Uh, I will try to go through them pretty quickly because I do have a lot. And I think I'm going to start with the more like basic shaped ones. So first up I have two packs of these enamel uh, star ones. So I think I got these on AliExpress with some other things. So it's just random stickers set enamel so they're a bit harder but they come in a lot of nice colors and different sizes so these are really nice for scrapbooking they're not th too thick so they don't take up much space if you are worried about that but they're still super cute that's my first stickers and then in the same uh, brand i also got this heart i did have one with a uh, pink themed with hearts but i used that up so i can't really show you that but it was the same thing but in different color scheme and again different sizes and great for scrapbooking. Next I have a lot of emoji stickers. Uh, first up I have like stars and just faces. So these they might look <laughs> pretty similar but they do they are different. So again these are puffy stickers and I will use them in my scrapbooking. Hopefully you can see how thick they are. Uh, I do love puffy stickers, they are my favorite kind of stickers. I think they are super adorable. And this one I actually got from the toy store I work in. So sometimes it's good to work in a toy store, you can buy all the things you want. So a lot of different faces and a few different shapes and sizes. And as you can see they have a, a few different expressions and such. So that's nice. So these are all yellow, and then I also have the same but in heart shape, heart shape ones. And these two are actually the same, so I probably accidentally got doubles of those. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss out on another one, but fine. So these again, super cute for scrapbooking if you want to like uh, represent a mood or something that has happened and such. So. This would be super cute for that. Next I just have some hearts. Uh, and this, I think this is a scrapbooking company actually. I know I got these in on a scrapbook uh, fair or such. Or meetup maybe. And you can see here I have two of these packs. Uh, so they look a bit weird but. So this one comes in uh, three different sizes and two different colors. And these have three different colors. Of course, I have hearts, I need stars, so these are again just basic and they are a bit thicker like puffy stickers but they are not as soft. They have a do, they do have a bit of a softness, softness to them so they are not uh, enamel and it says puffy sticker right here but uh, they are not as soft. So I have them in like this gold copper, copper color and then a silver color. I also have this set that I actually got from my Blippo order, from my sticker surprise uh, bag. And these again are just emoji faces with hearts and then some extra stars right here and some circles. And I like that they come in different colors, it's nice to have something to change up. Another set that I got in my Blippo order are these ones and they are just bows and hearts and little candies and such. The color scheme is super cute. Puffy stickers, as always, my favorite. And I really like how they come in like polka dots and so tiny hearts and striped patterns. So that's really cute. Also have these uh, fabric hearts, which are in a decent size. And they are fabric and they are a bit shimmery. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but they look super cute. I haven't tried those yet, but I will eventually. Then I have some food themed stickers. So I have these ones, uh, which are a bit of a different puffy stickers, but they are, are a bit puffy, but they are some ice cream and candies and such. And these are just got in my 
local bookstore. They're cute, really nice for your summer scrapbooking. Also nice for summer scrapbooking are these uh, strawberry stickers. I'm not sure where I got them, um, but they're cute. And they are felt stickers, it says right here. So that's a bit different. I really like having like different textures in my scrapbooking booking too. Again, super nice for summer. Next up is one of my favorite stickers that I got in my Blipo order. And it's this with fruits. And they have like tiny faces and they're just adorable. Doesn't, I kind of try to poke down the stickers so you can see them better. But hopefully you can see them all right anyway. So I really like the banana here. That's super cute. I also have some trees right there and just some speech bubbles. This one with the heart is super cute. Next up, I got a double of this one and it has some hearts and some cakes, some candy and just a lot of cuteness. Really like again the different patterns of the hearts and such. But it makes for like a nice variety. Also like bright colors. I really like like uh, scrapbooking in brighter colors so that's amazing. Some more stickers right here. Again, puffy stickers have some food themes and some of them have some little faces. But these are most like a bit smaller and then like this giant one in the middle. Not sure what I would use this one for. Uh, but all of the food ones I can easily use in my scrapbooking. Also comes with these two like girl uh, stickers. Again, not sure what I will use these for but all the other foods they can, I can use pretty easily. I also have this one with these super cute, I think they're dogs. Uh, a waitress and a either a customer, it looks like a customer, but they also come with this uh, different clothes and a lot of foods again, which is nice when you're scrapping like restaurant pictures and such. Also have cash register right there. But this one has a bit of softer color, which is nice if you want a, a variation to your scrapbooking. I'm kind of nagging about my scrapbooking a lot, but I do use a lot of these for scrapbooking so. Next up, I have some animal themed stickers. So this again is the same brand as the other one with ice creams. And it's just like these super cute animals with like a vintage retro theme. And they look super, super cute. And they are a decent size for your both scrapbooking layouts and two pockets uh, scrapbook, like Project Lifestyle. So I'm gonna use those pretty soon, hopefully. Next up, I got some stickers with some owls. I really like owls, they're really cute. And it's really nice if you're like scrapbooking, like school themed things or like reading things. And I also use these flatter stickers um, of owls in my planner for like school related things. I did have another sheet of owls that my husband got for me when he was in Japan, which I used all of the owls all up. So I think I'm gonna move this into my planner and use them up there, but they're so cute, I kind of want them in my scrapbooking too. But yeah, so I've got those. Next up I have a few other animal stickers that my husband got for me when he was in Japan. So first up I have these panda bear ones, so you can see both with the face and like the full body and in a few different colors, or in a few different sizes, not color. Uh, and they do have like this Gold, you probably can't see because of the packaging glaring too much. But maybe you can see now. They have like a gold uh, line art right here, which is kind of why it disappears when I'm shifting it in light. But I got that one. Also got me this one, which has just some round stickers with some bunnies. Yes, simple and cute. And it also got me another bunny one. And these ones are just white and pink bunnies, again with like a gold line art. That one's so cute and you can see the different poses and sizes. Next I have these bunny ones and this is also from my Blippo surprise bag. And they are just like emoji bunnies and I really like these kind of stickers. I did have, have a sheet with something similar with panda bears that I used a lot in my scrapbooking. So I'm super excited to have these, and I really like the carrots. They are super, super cute. You also get some strawberries and hearts. So that's nice. Again, two doubles. I got these enamel dogs and cat stickers. So they also have some extra hearts and paw prints and such. And I'm not sure if I'm holding it, 
holding it close enough so you actually can see them, but they are adorable. I really like this white cat right there. Next up is a bit of a different size. It's this one, and this is from, uh, see if you can have it right here, uh, Guinea Pig Weekly. And I made a guinea pig. She has a lot of guinea pig uh, merchandise and I got these sticker sheets. And I'm going to use this for my sketchbook. I still haven't changed much of my new sketchbook yet, so I'm saving it. But they are adorable, so I like those. Next up, I have more like character or fandom themed stickers. Uh, so I do have this one. It's kind of probably going to be like pain in the camera. Because it has this hello background and r surrounding like edge. But it's a Disney Zoom Zoom themed one and they are adorable and my camera doesn't like them. Uh, this one I actually just got in the toy store and they're super cute. Different sizes and like some princesses, some Monster Inc. ones, Bambi, uh, Winnie the Pooh. So those are super cute. Not sure if I would use this in my planner or my scrapbooking. But got those. Next up I have this little sticker book and I know this is like a manga cat character but I haven't read this one uh, and I don't know what it's called in English but it's just super cute. I got it because you know of the cute stickers and I used this in my planner and I've used some and this one has fallen off but it has a lot of different themes. Probably can't show you everything but they're like super cute, like a sleepy day one, a food theme page, and this, not sure what kind of excited mess is going on right here. But they do have a lot of different ones. They also have these label stickers right here. This one is really cute. So I got that one. I got that in one of my favorite bookstores here in Stockholm that sells a lot of manga and anime merchandise too. So I really like that one. Next up I have some Mame Goma stickers. I have this sticker sheet that I don't actually have the packaging for. But I think you will be able to see the stickers pretty well. So they're just thin stickers with some silver details. I'm not sure how well you can see it but they're super cute. I really like these sleeping ones. And this one is super nice. So I got those and I also have these packs which were I think in different packs and I just staple it together. So I have the smaller ones right here and most of these <laughs> are a bit empty because I got these last summer so I've used a lot of them. I got those one. Next one I got some Sumik Gurashi ones which I have been <laughs> Totally in love with. Got one more of these sticker books. Got it at the same shop. Ooh, also got some heart stickers right here. Exciting. And so they do have like different pages with each character. Or two characters split one page. So you get a lot of like single figures. And you also get some like mixed themes. So you have a food themed right there. Sport themed. And <laughs> a uh, outside like sea themed I guess. Again some more like food cafe styles. And again these I use in my planner. So that's really nice. I got that one. Then I also have a few loose sheets. I have this one. I think this is the first one I got which is kind of why it's super empty. So these are like plastic stickers. Not sure what they're called. But you can see they have like this translucent uh, background or something. Really good. I think this, this is actually like planner oriented. Because you do have these labels right there. Then I have a Sumikigushi one which is like washi tape or washi uh, stickers. They are a bit thinner and a bit transparent. Um, so you can probably see here when I move my finger. But they're super cute, also have like a gold detail on some. I have used a few of them, but not a lot. So I still have a lot of use of this one. Then I got two ones, two more Sumiki Gurashi ones in my uh, my Blippo order. So I got these two, and this one again is a washi one. 
so you can see but a different one so get some few different cute ones i really like this one that was really really cute and i can't talk i'm talking too much next up is another washi one and a bit smaller ones but they look super cute i really really like this onigiri one and yes cute next up i have some puffy stickers and i have a feeling these are like a uh, fake merchandise but they still work they're still cute and first up i do have these uh, Totoro ones so these two are the same then i got this one and then i got another pack which i'm not sure where i left i know i used it in my scrapbooking like a few weeks ago so it should be somewhere around here but it's not so you can see the stickers right there so in a few different colors a few different sizes and they're really really cute i really like this one that one is really nice and this big one again i'm not sure if i said so but they're puppy stickers again i think fake ones but they are pokemon pokemon stickers and they just say pikachu stickers uh, so they're probably fake but i have four different ones you can see them right here i really like the dope face on these ones they're so cute and you know a few different pokemons and some pokey eggs right there and pokeball and a random ice cream for some reason see some more pokemons and some randomness right there and got two more i really like this one eating the lollipop that's super cute and these two with togepi and squirrel like stacked together I do really like the mix of the like shibi derpy style and like the normal. And here's the last one. This one looks a bit weird, I have to say. Um, but other than that, pretty cool. So we have two more sticker packs and that's it. And these are Moomin stickers. So I got this one right here. And I don't think there's any particular... And like theme for them. They're just moving stickers in different packs. So yeah, that's all of my stickers. Or you know, not all of them, but like most of them that are partly or fully um, still have most of the stickers left. I do have like a lot of half used sheets and you know some with just like a few stickers left which uh, I didn't really want to show because I didn't think that would be you know fun hopefully this is like semi fun um, but you can see I do have a lot of stickers I like stickers they're fun to buy and you can buy them in so many different places so that's really nice and please let me know if you collect stickers or like use a lot of stickers or like a lot of stickers or you know just if you liked my sticker collection um, stickers are one of those things that I do feel weird about calling like my collection because I do like use them up and they're like one time use kind of thing even if I keep them in my scrapbook and you know i will keep like forever they're still like i just use them once and then they're not like a part of the collection anymore but i know like a lot of children and stuff collect stickers and in kind of like sticker books uh, which i think is pretty cool but uh, again i do have a problem with it because like you use it once and you can't really use it again i know like kids can do whatever they want but me yeah. so i was kind of stalling and <laughs> yes wanted to show you everything but yeah this is my sticker collection hope you like it uh, please check out some of my other videos if you want to see more of my randomness and rambleness and yeah thank you for watching hope to see you soon bye